Okay, guys, this is our spelling lesson for today. It's about prefixes. Let's get started. By the end of this presentation, I want you to be able to understand what prefixes are, identify some prefixes in some words, spell a list of words with prefixes, identify misspelled words in a paragraph. So let's do this. What is a prefix? A prefix is an attachment you add to the beginning of a word. So it's something we attach at the beginning of words. A prefix changes the meaning of the word that it's added to. Okay, let's look at some examples. The first prefix we're going to talk about is on, you and Remember, we attach it to the beginning of words, right? So the first word is block. We attach the prefix on, so it becomes unblock, unborn, unchain, unload, and unlock. What do you think un means? The prefix un means not or opposite. So when we attach it to words, it changes their meaning. It becomes the opposite of the word. For example, unborn, it means not born. Unlock, it means not or to open it. So it's the opposite. Let's look at some more prefixes. Now we're going to talk about re. Re is also a prefix that we attach to the beginning of words and it changes the meaning. But we're going to find out what re means when we attach it to words, what it becomes the word. So recall, relearn, resell, rewash, and rewind. Okay, for example, if I tell you um, this table, this car is not clean, you need to rewash it. Even though you have washed it before, but it's still not clean. So I need you to rewash it. What do you think re means? Re means again. So when I say rewash, it means wash it again. Relearn to learn again. Rewind to wind it again. Okay, some more prefixes. M, N, L, over, sub, pre, Super. Remember, super is not the, here we're not talking about words alone. We're talking about prefixes that we attach to the beginning of words, also over. Let's look at some example. Imperfect. M here means not. So imperfect, it means not perfect. Indirect. N also means not. So indirect, not direct. Incorrect, not correct. Illegal, not legal. So did you notice how these M, N, and L, they all mean not? But remember, we cannot change, like we cannot say ill correct. Even if L means not, we cannot change it. You have to know which prefix attaches to which word. Overact, it means to act too much. Overheat, it means to heat too much. Subway, it means underground. Premix, it means to stir before. Preplan, it means to think ahead of time. It's always good to preplan. Super size, it means increase in size. See here how we attached super to size. Now the meaning is increase in size. If we say size alone, it doesn't have the same meaning as super size. Okay, this is it. Stay safe and use your time wisely.